What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Bliss ROM. So here in the Android version as you can see this is based on Android 10 of course. The security patch is latest of June 5th 2020. The stock kernel is Azure Perf Plus kernel. Here is the build number. And inside Bliss version we have this Bliss ROM's logo up top. Then we have the Bliss ROM version which is 12.8 and the changelog you can see it from here. The maintainer is Aftab. And the Bliss device says Violet or Redmi Note 7 Pro of course. And here the build status is official. This is the official build that means. And this is the 23rd June of 2020 build. Now let me go into the system and show you the Bliss updater. Yes, there is a system updater and you can update with this system updater. Let me go back. We have the gestures. And here we have this system navigation gestures which are the Android 10's gesture. And they are working flawlessly here as you can see. And you can change the settings, you can change the gesture bar size if you'd like. And you have a lot of customizations over here. And this tint you are noticing over here with the buttons and then these like bars over here. This side is blue, this side is green. That is the gradient color, accent color over here. You can set two colors for like each of them. So that is why it is looking like this. This looks really, really amazing in my opinion. And let me show you the volume panel. This is how it looks like right now. I can expand it just like this and as you can see, you can just expand or like collapse it just like this. You can adjust the media volume and the notification and alarm volume from here. And you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here. This color does look awesome even in dark theme. Let me show you. As you can see, this is how it looks like in the dark theme. Looks very beautiful in my opinion. Now, let me show you the stock launcher. To the left of the stock launcher, we have this Google's Discover page. And swiping down on the launcher gets you to the notification panel or the quick settings panel. Swiping up gets you to the app drawer, but there is this suggestions panel. Now here widgets and stuff are working fine as you can see. Now let me quickly go into the home screen settings and this is actually a Blissify launcher which is like there by default. And there is the double tap to sleep or stuff like those if you want that. Show Google app option is there, at a glance is there. And then add new icons to the home screen is there. Show gradient on top and bottom is there. Icon packs you can change. But this thing really sucks that we cannot disable this suggestion area. I don't like it. Now here, of course, double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen does work fine. Now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed here. And unlocked. Let's double tap here. And let's try it again. Unlocked. Very fast fingerprint scanner over here. No issues at all, as you can see. There is also the face unlock. So let me go into the security. And here, let me set up the face unlock. Now let's just try the face unlock, unlocked, let me show you, I have five fingers over here, so I'm not touching the fingerprint scanner, let me do it again, and it unlocks really really fast, and one thing that I like over here is that whole UI animations like anywhere, as you can see if I go into the settings, go home, everything is set to like 0.5x animation speed, so that is why the whole UI feels a lot smoother. Now let's talk about the stock camera. I don't like it at all because this is the CyanogenMod mod camera or the Snapdragon camera. As you can see it is already showing me the black screen and the camera is back right now. But as soon as I go into the settings as you can see camera just freezes it does not move right now. So yeah I don't like this as my stock camera. So that is why I installed a next camera. You can flash it with the orange fox recovery and let me show you this is the version 184 of the a next camera. And here, even the portrait mode is working right now, but I flashed the 48 megapixel fix, that's why it is working. And if you want to flash this ANX camera on your device, follow this guide over here. It will help you to flash this ANX camera perfectly, even getting the portrait mode or the 48 megapixel camera mode. Let me show you if I switch into the 48 megapixel mode. And as you can see, it is working fine. No issues with the 48 megapixel mode. And even in video settings, let me show you, you get up to 1080p 60fps option over here. You do not get the 4K or stuff like that, but yeah, 1080p60 is there. And there is also the pro mode if you'd like to use it with the ANX camera, of course. And front camera, let me show you again, front camera is working fine. Even the portrait mode and stuff with the front camera should be working pretty fine. Now I have also installed Google Camera 7 here. This is the Unix version. And if you want to install this Google camera, you can click on the card right here. 
and this google camera is working fine with night sight and stuff so you should not worry about the google camera either this is a separate apk you just have to install and follow the settings now let me talk about flashing this rom well there are two versions i guess one with gfs and one is without i think so i have flashed the gfs version here here i have used the latest orange fox recovery which is version r10.1 underscore 3 and with this recovery you need to do one thing so from the settings you have to go to this menu section and then settings and this OTA then you have to enable this disable force encryption and if your storage is already encrypted you need to format the storage once so how do you format if you are asking let me go back so from this menu go to this manage partition select data hit write and then click on format data and type yes that will format your storage and then again go to the settings and OTA make sure you have this disable force encryption enabled that's how you get the decryption here so it won't ask you for password in the orange box recovery or if it asks you for password that means your storage is encrypted you just enter your lock screen pin that should work i mean if you don't want to go decrypted way now talking about flashing this rom if you're coming from a custom rom you just go to wipe select dalvi cache system and data these four things you don't need to wipe vendor actually you can just like swipe to wipe and the vendor will be replaced when you flash the latest firmware i have flash this 20.6.18 china weekly firmware you can also use global firmware or indian firmware if you want to and then you need to flash the rom file of course so that's why you select this bliss rom version 12.8 23rd june 2020 build and then after flashing you just reboot you do not need to flash any f -grip disabler because of that option enabled so if that option is enabled on your side that like disable force encryption that will decrypt like your storage or keep the storage decrypted and after i booted into the system set up the rom and stuff then i flash the anx camera now let me quickly show you the quick settings panel this is how it looks like you can edit and add more toggles from here let me show you what are there we have this disable animation option for some reason and then we have some more like screen recording option is there there is a always on display but i don't see the fps info option here so let me show you which screen recorder is this okay so this is the oxygen OS screen recorder we have the resolution changing option then you can control the bitrate from here and then we have the number of frames control over here and audio source you can change it to internal or microphone as you would like it and then we have some more settings so yeah this oxygen os screen recorder should be working fine here now let me go into the settings and show you the other things like the customizations well that is the most important thing about this rom because this rom comes with a lot of customizations and that is the reason why i think this is one of the most amazing options for the redmi note 7 pro inside blissify we have all the customizations and it shows this kind of like logo up top and whenever you go into a setting it shows this kind of like big bold kind of settings over here so you know where you are in the like customizations so inside status bar we have this clock style you can change it to right left or hidden and clock and date you can customize it thoroughly from here then we have the battery status style and you can control it to dotted circle circle field or normal circle but there is no big circle here and battery percentage you can enable disable or like get it enabled inside the icon and then battery percentage when charging is there and you can have this custom charging symbol then we have the system icons here you can enable the headset bluetooth etc icons from here and advanced system icons are there so you can control the vaulty icons from here as you can see there are a lot of vaulty icons i don't have a sim card in it so that's why you don't see any vaulty or network icon and show logo is there you can set a custom logo and then we have the status bar weather and stuff then weather placement you can change placement of that weather and 4g icon instead of lte and stuff is there show roaming indicator bluetooth battery stats everything is there then we have the carrier level network traffic monitor customization and this brightness control really does help as you can see you can control the brightness just by sliding a finger on the status bar and this feature is just amazing okay so i can show you this so from this header image you can enable it and then choose this image collection and then from here you can choose any of these like i have set this to bliss and with this first place option this is how it looks like well does not look so good but yeah it is quite decent i would say so you can customize the header image just like this and you can have this header image shadow and the image height offset from here then you can set the quick pull down to right or left then we have the clock customization then system info is there you can have these kind of options then we have the data usage settings in quick settings panel and you can have it on monthly usage or daily usage as you like it and then brightness slider is there you can choose the position of the brightness slider to these many options and auto brightness brightness control options are there and column and row number customization is there and you can control the tiles of the column so that's really really cool 
and here we have the quick setting opacity and the blur behind the quick settings you can control the blur of course and we have some new tint style then vibrate on toggle touch is there edit icon is there you can disable it if you don't like the edit icon over there then we have the settings icon and stuff and battery style is there in the quick settings panel battery percentage you can enable it and then battery estimates is there too and bluetooth battery stats and stuff is there let me go back to the animations here we have the system animations by default these animations set to 0.5x again and everything is super fast you can customize it however you want it list view animation and stuff you can customize it toast animation you can customize it too then we have the toggle animation of the quick settings then scrolling cache screen of animation is there you can choose it to CRT or scale if you'd like it let me go back to the buttons here we have the invert layout if you're using two or three button navigation edge long swipe action is there you can control to anything as you can see there are plethora of options for this edge long swipe let me go back we have the power menu option and here we have the advanced restart let me show you from the power menu you can just tap on restart and there you have the advanced reboot to recovery or fast boot option or you can just like quickly reboot the system UI so that's really really cool long press for torch is there and it actually works we have the volume panel too if you want it and you can like have some more things like media ring alarm voice bluetooth etc volumes from here and show panel on the left side is there too so right now as you can see the volume panel comes from the left side so this is really really cool then inside lock screen we have the lock screen clock style and here as you can see you can change between these many clock options looks awesome i would say even we have a spider-man so yeah and default clock style you can change it and you can change the lock screen clock color and stuff or the widget style you can change that and owner info you can set like the fonts and stuff from here then we have the quick settings power menu etc coming up in the lock screen you can disable them if you want to lock screen charging info does show up so that's cool wake up on plug you can disable it and there it is the force fingerprint authentication or the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner this is the most interesting feature that i like even if i reboot the device i don't have to enter the pin with this feature i can just tap the fingerprint scanner and it will unlock even after a reboot so yeah that's really cool but you have to have a decrypted storage to like use this feature so make sure about that if your recovery does ask for password this feature won't work and inside the gestures we have the double tap to sleep on the status bar and lock screen and we have the swipe to take screenshot but normally as you can see this is not the like long screenshot or something inside notifications we have the edge lighting option and this edge lighting i have seen it working totally fine and you can change the duration and the repeat count of this it works 100 percent of the time heads up and stuff is there and as you can see we have the show media heads up and stuff you can enable it i have it disabled because i don't like them we have the show notification header and stuff notification vibration is there then vibrate on connecting call call waiting and disconnect everything is there blink for incoming call flashlight is there let me go back to this themes okay so inside this theme you have normal theme changing option but let me show you we have this accent free preset and you can have some preset as you can see plethora of presets are there even pixel and stuff is there spotify green and stuff is there but you can customize it just like this this is the rgb accenter as you can see this color and this color this is the gradient picker so you can choose two colors that is the reason why these kind of bar over here looks like this pretty cool i would say you can set the rgb accent color just from here and then you can set the gradient picker from here just like this from like any color those color will mix between both of them looks really really awesome and in the primary color you can have the background like i have set it to bliss black because i love the pitch black kind of look over here and we have the headline and body fonts plethora of body fonts are there as you can see and icon shapes are there this much so you won't need to worry i guess and then we have the status bar icons we have the rounded field and circular icon over here for the status bar now inside mode we have some more settings like one ui and stuff and display cutout settings is there fingerprint authentication vibration and stuff is there let me scroll down we have the toast info and stuff like toast icon sorry and allow signature spoofing is there by the way i cannot find the long screenshot option over here inside this more settings i don't know why it might be there or it may not i'm not really sure but I cannot just find the long screenshot option in this more settings so the screenshot is just taking a normal screenshot now here in the battery settings this is how it looks like the animation looks really cool here the 18 watt fast charging works amazingly well here you should not worry about that and in the battery settings on the bottom we see the battery temperature and we have the screen on time and stuff smart charging battery saver and performance mode is there and then we have the battery charge warning stuff over here then adaptive battery is there and you can check the full usage but just by tapping on this icon 
and this animation on the battery icon looks amazing in my opinion again then inside display settings we have the night light live display and stuff is there you can change the color over here like the rgb control we have here and then screen attention mode is there we have the full screen apps if you want to force some apps into full screen you can do that and inside lock screen display this is how the settings looks like and you can go advanced and you have the always on display and stuff over here new notification option is there and a lot of more options are there and we have the double tap to wake this does work fine dark theme is there you can enable it from here and this override force dark that means it will force the apps even to work on dark mode like forcefully and in the sound settings we have the touch sounds the screenshot sound etc but there is no me audio direct present over here at least by default in the vibration and haptics we have the touch vibration vibrate for calls and you can control the ringtone vibration pattern from here yeah that's it that's all about the customizations present on this rom now let me talk about the more things like this led rgb remote app i have tested the ir bluster with it like this ir bluster present over here and this is working totally fine with this led rgb remote app so no issues with this ir bluster on this rom the DRM info shows as level 1 here so you won't need to worry much about Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in like 1080p here that should work and the banking apps does work super fine here right out of the box as this passes the safety net test so you won't need to worry about Google Pay or something not working in this ROM they will work right out of the box here are the benchmarks for this ROM I don't have any apps in the memory so let's just open some of these apps from here let me open this DRM info again and this banking app kind of safety net test app. Let's open this Chrome and Facebook. Now let's open Play Store, YouTube. Now let's open all the apps from memory again. And as you can see, the speed of this app opening ups are really fast. I just opened File Explorer, that's why I'm reopening. And as you can see, the app open ups are really, really fast. And even the animations are pretty fast. I mistakenly opened Telegram too. Let me open again. As you can see, the animations are super fast here and everything is, it feels blazing fast. The UI is like never getting stuttery. The whole UI stays smooth even with a lot of apps opened. This is a 4GB RAM unit by the way. And as you can see, still there are all the apps in memory. So no issues with the memory management or app opening up speeds here. The whole UI stays smooth. This is why I like this Bliss ROM with a lot of customizations. It has all the stability that you want from a custom ROM. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the latest build of Bliss ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KTNT signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.